Hello, and allow me to welcome you to Project Dandelion, the notch signaling based cancer treatment strategy. Let me describe the notch signaling procedure. First, new stem cells must undergo differentiation into many cell types that make up our body after emerging from epithelial crypts. It accomplishes this by activating the notch signaling system. Through cell to cell interactions, the first cell to differentiate will let the other cells know that it cannot differentiate into the same type of cell. As you can see in this illustration, the signal was released, causing all the other stem cells to diverge. Now, how does this relate to cancer treatment and instances of metastatic disease? For those of you who don't know, metastasis is the process which cancer cells spread to various organs in the body, such as bone, brain, liver, or lung, in the case of breast cancer. Because of this, we seek a way to stop overproduction of cancer cells, as well as a way to eliminate them. So how can we use the notch pathway to stop the spread of cancer and metastasis? Well, we'll employ a strategy comparable to how COVID mRNA vaccines operated. The vaccines identified a protein only present in cells that are infected with COVID, and would code for the antibody to aid in the immune system in fighting the virus. For our method, we would need to create an mRNA sequence that recognizes the protein that would cause, for example, breast cancer cells, such as mutations in the BRCA1 and BRCA2. The mRNA would then code and overexpress the following CSL protein, an acronym for the DNA binding protein that notch proteins interact with, and would need the signal to the surrounding cells connected by notch to code and overexpress the ARF protein to form the COPE1 coded vesicles that we will discuss later. You might be asking how this mRNA will just be coded by the cell. The reason the strategy works is that there are free floating ribosomes in the cytoplasm that when they come into contact with mRNA, they will translate whatever the sequence is into proteins. If you're wondering what our strategy is for using the COP1 coded vesicles, it's because our cells use COP1 coded vesicles produced by the Golgi apparatus as a recycling mechanism to disassemble proteins for later use. The cis Golgi has a pH of 6.7, which is acidic and breaks down to aforementioned proteins. The goal is to manufacture them in nearby cells, then release them into the malignant cell, where they break down the proteins it produces until the cell is overloaded in vesicles, which then kills it. Since the cancer cell is where our mRNA signal is located, the process will end when the mRNA can no longer recognize the mutated protein that caused the cancer, aka when there is no longer any cancer and the cell is destroyed. So now to wrap it all together and the explanation why this is called Project Dandelion is because the inspiration for this idea was the puffball form of dandelions, when the bud is surrounded by puffs containing it from interacting with outside forces. Kind of like what the notch method will do. Thank you for watching and learning about Project Dandelion. I hope you have a great day. Down below in the description is all the papers I used for this information. Bye.